Good morning, Guardians. This is Fru Mega here again, bring you once again another Arms Day loadout. Welcome to week 19 of Arms Day loadout. I'm here at the tower hanging out with Banshee, and let's check out what he brought for us this week for our weapon orders. Morning, friend. First up, we got the Suros PDX 41. Let's see what they got some good freaking perks on this one. Alright, rank one, we got SLO 12 with the SPO 26 and the SPO 57. All of them are decent sites, but I prefer SPO 28 just for that little extra aim assist. Alright, this one comes with fitted stock, cask and mag, counterbalance, snapshot, and rifle barrel. I see range, stability, and stability. This could be a good contender, actually. If we had the SBO 28 sights, it would have been perfect, or close to perfect. Rifle barrel, counterbalance would be awesome. I would prefer fitted stock, or uh, I would prefer perfect balance over fitted stock. But this is a this could be a decent weapon in the right hands. Wow, first off, the gain is pretty decent in the C rank 2. Rank 2, we got SLO 12 with SPO 26 and the SPO 57. Ah, this one comes with perfect balance, oil frame, take a knee, snapshot, and reinforced barrel. Not bad. Uh, what was that other perk that resembles taking the um I think I have it on my hunt on a hunter Titan from um a previous arms day it had private eye with hammer forge and uh Hanley stock the stability out the range this thing was a real good contender in the crucible every time I see a person kind of like at a distance crouch get that extra zoom got that deadly headshot I think you guys could catch that highlights from my iron banner but anyway I'm I'm diverting <laughs> all right we're on rank three we got SLO 19 SBO 28 all right check that off the checklist that's a good sign for a good pulse rifle and the SPO 57 Definitely the 20 is a good sign. We got high caliber rounds with casket mag, range finder, speed reload, and injection mold. We got our stability, we got our boost in range, and we got stuff to stagger with SBO 28. Stagger, range, stability, target acquisition. Holy snap, there's actually two good pull, right? Two good pulse rifles. Holy snap. Rank 1 and rank 3. Rank 1 for the stability and range. But if we had the SPO 28, I would recommend it. This is a high second one. If you don't have access to rank 3 or you prefer stability with a rifle barrel. You could go either way, one or three, but I'm highly recommending three for that high caliber rounds in the rangefinder. I'm definitely going for rank three. I don't know if it scares the enemy, but it scares the hell out of me. Next up we got the Searles JLB forty seven rocket launcher. Let's check out the perks of rank one. Let's see, we've got the Warhead Veteraneer, Soft Launch, Hard Launch. I'm not seeing really adding anything to the Velocity and Blast Radius. It usually shows a little bit. I don't know, my eyes may be deceiving me. Alright. We got Heavy Payload with Flare Magwell. Grenade and Horseshoes. Javelin and quick draw. Holy snap, do we have a quadfecta? Javelin, grenade and horseshoes, 
Heavy payload, hard launch. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be a great week for Arms Day. Oh, these are all good perks. Let's check out the other two before I go crazy. Alright, rank two, we got Warhead Ventineer again, and Linear Compensator, Hard Launch, Heavy Payload, uh, Speed Reload. Who's next? Javelin and Lightweight. Not bad. Somewhat decent. But I've seen Javelin and Heavy Payload, Hard Launch. Those are good perks. I'm not freaking rocking launch. Good damn perks. Let's see, rank three. We got the warhead again with smart drift control and hard launch. Good, good, good. Single point sling, eh, flare magwell, tripod, javelin, and snapshot. Not bad, javelin, tripod. Probably running with flare magwell just to get that quick reload. But you got three in the chamber. Maybe single point sling. What about a rocket launcher a little quicker? I see potential in rank three and rank one, but I'm I'm kind of leaning closer to rank one, because this seems like like god tier maybe. We got hard launch, heavy payload, grenade and horseshoes, and javelin. You got your velocity, you got your blast radius, you got your grenade and horseshoes, which is amazing. Oh, no need to think it over. We're definitely rank one on the Suros JLB 47 rocket launcher. Next up, we got the Tamar D sniper rifle. Let's keep this good, per uh, good perk rolls going. All right, we got the AT scout with the ATD Raptor, counterbalance, partial refund, perfect balance, quick draw, a finish magazine. Not bad. Perfect balance, partial refund, counterbalance. Below, below decent. Hmm. I'm all that over for a second. Let's check out rank two. We got ATB long range with ATD Raptor. We got take a knee, partial refund, explosive rounds, quick draw, and injection mold. I would love something with more stability without losing the range though. Partial refund, I hope it's not on all of them. Recurring perk. It, it, it's decent having that perk on some snipers, but... How often do you get the assists when you snipe? Alright, rank 3. ATB long range, ATD raptor. We got unflinching performance bonus, high caliber rounds, quick draw, and injection mold. Not bad. High caliber rounds, that's a must. I like the performance bonus and unflinching. This could be a decent sniper, but I would love something, one of these to be a stability perk. Hmm. Kind of seem a little subpar to me. The only one that seems semi-decent is rank 3. But if none of them agree with you, remember, pick one, scrap it, and scrap it for the parts and marks. If not, try rank 3. Damn good weapon. Oh, not wrong one. Alright, time to switch to the Warlock. Get the last two weapons. I believe the last two are, um, I think a Soro, Soros Auto Rifle. Either, I think it's the 41. And a Fusion Rifle. I think it was the Amalon one, the Thesian. Let's do a quick trip to the tower. Oh, 
Well, I want to take this moment while we're in mid transmission. Like I was saying, take this moment in mid transmission. If you guys like what you see, please like, share, leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And other than that, thank you for watching. And please remember, all the support keeps this going. And I was hoping to land by the tower by now. <laughs> Then you guys are watching have any ideas leave them down in the comment below Alright, we got the ARI-41 from Soros. Let's check out this auto rifle. Once again, with that SLL-12, SBO-28, not bad. Good sights. SRO-41. We got fitted stock, oil frame, lightweight, rifle barrel, and rodeo. Stability, stability, range. Eh. Hmm. Can I... Even a good perk. If this was perfect balance, I would agree. It would definitely. Or a rodeo with counter or perfect balance. Something other than rodeo. Hmm. Alright, let's check out the other one. Because that one's subpar. Alright, we got the SLO 12, SBO 26 size, and the SR, SRO 41. We got hammer forge with cask and mag, lightweight, small bore, and focus fire. Hmm. I wonder if focus fire actually. Well, it has hammer forge, so it gives you increased range. Small bore increases the range even more and stability, but you probably lose. I think five to seven rounds. I think it drops it from 43 to 38 in the clip. I'm not sure. Can't remember quite, but we'll see. Focus fire reduce the speed by increase the additional damage. This actually may semi work, but I wish it had a little bit of better sights. Oh, kind of like a weird mock-up, but close to decent, but still so par. All right, SLO 12, SPO 28, that's a good sight. SPO 57. Ah, this one comes with high caliber rounds, appendage mag, snapshot, handlight stock, and partial refund. Yeah, maybe partial refund on the auto rifle. We bullet holes in them. Yeah, may get a, the assist, may get the kill, get the mag partially back. A handlight stock. I wish they had something other than partial refund to to maximize the range, because handlight stock's really, really, really short. Oh man, none of these are complimentary. Huh? They're all kind of subpar. I will probably rank. I'll recommend rank two just to have fun with it for PVE. But other than that, I probably would pass. If you're looking for something to use in PvE in the Crucible. So, grab one to scrap it or save it for next week. Alright, time for this fusion rifle. The Thesian FR4. Let's see, rank 1. We've got the Spark IS-6 sights with the Torch. Torch is a really good one. That's like uh, similar to the Soros uh, SPO-28 with the improved target acquisition. So that's a definitely, definitely a good plus. Replenish with skip rounds, handlight stock. Ooh, max stability on the fusion rifle. May lose a little bit in the range, but that max stability though. And you may not lose that range because it has range finder. 
So aim down sights with a torch, handling stock rangefinder. This could be of this could be a beast of a fusion rifle. Let's see, rank two. Candle IS two with the like once again with the improved dark condition torch. If they all have torch, it'd be hard hard to pick one. Okay, maybe wish I pick uh, or bought a couple more of these because they're starting to look good. We got Army of One, Quick Draw, Hanley Stuck again, Life Support, and Exhumed. This would be great for Crucible in PVE, especially for the strikes with Life Support. Just get that get that kill when you're cruelty wounded. And damn, this is a good one too. Stability max again. Let's see rank three. We got the Spark IS with the torch again. Oh my god, this is gonna be a good week for fusion rifles. We got Army One X what was that? Enhanced battery, injection mold. Stability max, range finder, and exhumed. Holy snap. Oh my god, all of these are winners, especially with uh, Stability, Army 1, Rangefinder, Torch. They all have Torch. Holy snap, this is going to be hard to pick just one. Hell, if I had another order, I would have had uh, the Void and one of the Arc Damage ones just to have for the uh, Elemental Burns for the Strikes. So we had to break it down between rank one and rank three. All it comes down to is uh, replenish and the stability perk. We got in increased uh, stability with handling stock, but I think the other one gives you quicker handling because this what it wasn't handling; it was something else. It was injection mold. Holy snap! For our first time, three good fusion rifles to pick from, and it's, it's getting hard for me to pick one. I'm kind of leaning for rank three, but they're all good in their own special ways, especially rank three and rank one. Really liking rank two as well. But out of all of this, I'm definitely picking up rank three because of those perk setups. How's that feel? It feels awesome. All right, let's check out the test weapons. We got an auto rifle to use against the Fallen. We got an auto rifle to use in the Crucible. A rocket launcher to use in high value targets or high ranking targets. The yellow, yellow armor, uh, yellow armor or yellow bar. Ah, man, I hate when I get tongue tied. <sighs> Basically, all the enemies in PVE that have the yellow bar are armored. We got a shotgun to use against the hive and a sniper to use against the cabal centurions. Not bad. But let's check out the orders for next week. We got the Omelon Katotis SR4 scout rifle. We got the hand cannon. Oh, we got both hand cannons from Omelon. Let's see, we got the Jungoku shotgun and the Adolf. Uh, uh, the sniper rifle from Hake. Can't pronounce these names to save my life. Come see me if there's any problems. Well, this concludes this week's Arms Day loadout. Catch you next time, Guardians. And remember, it helps me a lot. If you guys leave comments, share, like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. If you like enjoying and watching this live on Twitch, Thank you. I'll catch you guys on my YouTube channel. And remember, all the comments help support. Leave your questions. And I'll catch you guys next time.